Here's this excavator we picked up at Rental Pro. Guys, beautiful day in Southeast Kentucky. It's cloudy, but almost 60 degrees. We just unloaded the mini excavator we rented and let's get some work done. What's going on here? So during the flood of July 22 here in Hazard, Kentucky, uh, they had a little slip and they cleaned most of it off down here. But we're going to have to try to get that rock off. I'll probably have to bust it up by hand. And we're going to build a, a 12 foot 6 by 6 retaining wall from somewhere in there over to here. And needless to say, it's going to be a fun one. So we got to get up here and uh, we got to clean all this out. We're going to take the excavator and kind of scoop all that out, get us a flat area. Then we'll dig a small ditch to put gravel in to set our first post on and then we'll build us a 32 inch tall retaining wall let's get with it guys so the excavator only reached so far it only reached about right here they had a big rock up here they wanted busted up i busted it by hand and now we've been shoveling this pile i can take it back a little bit more and i'm just shoveling it over here and then i can grab it with the excavator Sorry, I'm out of breath. It's a lot of shoveling. And busting that big sandstone with that sledgehammer was no fun. Morning, folks. We're back here on this retaining wall job. And I'll just give you a quick update what's going on. It rained pretty hard last night, but the hillside held on. We tamped this uh, down with a hand tamper. Getting ready to put a layer of uh, landscaping fabric. That's the heavy duty or stuff. And uh, we'll put 57s on them and layer on three inch lifts and compact them in we got a trailer full of gravel over there. see here we're putting uh silt fabric up and then putting uh well what we're trying to do is keep mud out of it and i just put a little mud in it but a little bit ain't gonna hurt we're trying to keep a lot out of the rock And uh, once we start putting these gravel in, it'll hold it back good. The ideal is to keep mud from getting up in your rock because you want the water to flow freely through it. Let's get with it. Uncle Blue getting it done. Put gravel in it. There you go. Hey, you got like a half inch between that and that wall. That's what you call close. That's the ideal, guys. We're just gonna put, I'll spread them out and only put like three inch of gravel. And then uh, I'll take this hand tamper and compact them super good. And we'll do it all the way up. Guys, we're just tamping it down in small, thin layers. And 57s don't compact super good, but they let water flow through, so. 
we are going to be putting some perforated French drain in here. But we do want to compact them soon. So guys, we got it up to level we wanted and uh, we got it compacted good. I'm going to show you here. We got it good and level. And now we get to start building a wall. We're going to drill holes and drive four foot rebar in this first one down in the ground. And uh, half inch, four foot, half inch rebar. And that'll give us, uh, our first board will be the one that's kind of tied to the ground. $60 One more for good luck. <laughs> so guys, quick explanation. So we got that board in there and it's down against the concrete and we got a screw in it just to hold the wall firm because we're going to start backfilling some. And... Uh, <laughs> The actual strength of these walls come from your dead men that go back into the wall. And we got our perforated French drain pipe and we're getting ready to uh, put some rock over it. And then we'll put more of that uh, landscape fabric and to keep mud out of the rock. And uh, we'll just have this turned right here where it shoots out. And there won't be a ton of water come through it, but water can seep out of that. So guys, look here, we got, uh, he's gonna be putting her, some more gravel in there, but we stapled this fabric up to the post just to hold it there. And so now if you could un see what I'm saying, this is completely wrapped, the gravel are with fabric. No mud can get to the gravel and that'll make, that'll ensure that down there at that French drain, that perforated four inch pipe, and we got that slope going towards that with gravel, but that will ensure that we have proper drainage and that'll keep that water from just washing this out once it's done. Now, after we put some gravel in, we'll dig into this hill and we'll put us a couple dead men in and uh, maybe three dead men. And that's where we actually run six by sixes back to here and then put little cross members on them. And then when we backfill into that, that's where our strength comes from, is actually from those dead men that's going back into the backfill. It'll make sense once I show it to you. So guys, we're working our dead men in now. And uh, those just go back into the field and hold the wall. And uh, you can see I'm taking my square and making a square line. And that way I got the face of these squared. And then we'll run them back, putting some of that Gorilla Glue on it. Uh, and we got that compacted good under them. And we're putting two structural screws there two stru structural lag screws here and you can already see that glue working on that one and uh blue's over here working what we're doing is is digging back into the original ground 
and we're laying a level across and from here to here we want it level and then we mark up here where we want our actual post to go that way and that way we can get everything square everything leveled we don't want that to be kicking up or down perfectly level across and it's coming along good after this we'll just cut timbers to go in between these dead men and then uh, we'll go on with their wall hey guys so hey guys. we're getting <laughs> we're getting close to the end of this one uh we still got quite a bit of work to do but close to the end of building the wall and i'm going to show you what we did here you can see here dead men tied in four of them and uh the front of the wall we got the glue coming out once it dries we'll scrape it off but we're getting ready to start back filling i'm gonna dress this end up a little bit and uh he, we built a little staggering wall over there to hold the dirt on that side. And we'll pull some of that down to fill that part in. And then we'll backfill this and have kind of like a swell. And then water can drain through, go through the gravel, out the pipe. That's our go. behind me here you can see this retaining wall we just finished i'm wore out tuckered out as they say right here in the mountains but it looks good uh me and my brother he came out and helped me today i started on it by myself yesterday but we got her knocked out today and uh, i just want to let you guys see what it looks like finished project so here we go i'll show you Yeah.